This is Anna Demichik, a 27-year-old law student from Russia. For several years, she submitted an entry to the green card lottery that could give her permanent residency in the United States. In early May, she got the news she'd been hoping for. There was this winning notification saying, congratulations, please get your papers and ship them to Kentucky Consular Center as soon as possible. The news seemed too good to be true, and it was. Two weeks later, she was alerted to this statement on the State Department's website saying the lottery had suffered a computer glitch and the results were now invalid. I thought that could not be happening. I never heard of this kind of thing happening at all. I mean, how could a Department of State, like a huge government agency, have a glitch on the website? The mistake affected about 22,000 applicants across the world. Among them, people like Ugu Anito, a Nigerian who moved to Texas two years ago to study for a PhD in molecular biology. You know the story? We won and the Department of State invalidated the results. Anito has wanted to live in the U.S. ever since he was a boy, when he idolised Michael Jordan and hung a map of the United States on his bedroom wall. Ever since I came, I've tried to make this place my home, you know, much as I love to, uh, all love to go to Nigeria any time I get the opportunity. I'm pretty much comfortable here, so I just like it the way it is. The State Department responded to the error by releasing this video on YouTube. Although we receive large numbers of entries every day during the 30-day registration period, a computer programming error caused more than 90% of the selectees to come from the first two days of the registration period. The computer error that caused this unfair, non-random result has since been corrected. The State Department is holding a second lottery draw results of which will be known around July 15. But this is little solace to the victims of the mistake. And so a lawsuit is being prepared against the State Department on behalf of the 22,000 people affected. Till that's resolved, though, people like Anna Demichik continue to pursue the American dream while they can. Partly as a result of this experience, she says she's interested in becoming an immigration lawyer when she graduates next year. I might have to push even harder to uh, be the best immigration attorney possible to make myself known in the immigration law community so I could possibly get uh, a work visa and then maybe an employment-based green card. And that's what I'm planning to do now. Basically the same thing as planned as before the green card, but now it's just more stress and I'm working even harder at that. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Neil Hickey in Washington.